just got to start it up. Uh, it's only been running for, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. Can't really see any smoke, but she's idling. question too and like I said I'm new to diesels I'm not sure if that's a lifter sound that clackety maybe the lifters need to be adjusted the machine has over 8,000 miles on it but they said the engine was rebuilt a thousand hours ago 8,000 hours over 8,000 hours and was rebuilt a thousand hours ago I ah, can't remember the gentleman's name. I want to say like... John Clancy or something like that? John... Sweet... Sweeney maybe? I don't know, I have to look it up. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if I can look it up. Well, um, yeah, I can't look it up right now. But yeah, that too was rebuilt by supposedly. So I'm definitely going to give that guy a call. He's supposedly some big John Deere guy. So I don't know. But that's it. I want, she's pretty dirty underneath. And the trans, I mean, it doesn't even want to move. So... I found kill myself. Jeez, a piece. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, you can see that. I'm not sure if it's just the belate, the, like the bearings are, are locked up or something on the, the spindles. Because it seems like the gearbox wants to turn. And the hydraulics work. anything to do with the brakes because you'd hear you'd hear the pot I would think you'd hear the pump whining somehow 
grunting if it was trying to take off and the, the brakes were seized up or something, but it does move. looking through the manual and it said to check out a few things it's got like a guide that I can't remember what it's called it goes from like box to box and then if you get it'll ask you if if you have like hydraulic pressure if yes or no if it's yes, it'll point you to another uh, one box. If it's no, it'll point you to another box. And then you go so on and so forth through each box. And so there's a few things that I can check. And uh, one of them that I'm guessing might be that the issue is the accelerator valves on the transmission. I'm hoping that's all it is. That'd be nice. are locked up for sure. Let's see, I wonder if I can... Check in any of them. Let's see. Oh, jeez. They all look like they want to move. Oh, wait, man. They're evidently just locked up because they're starting to move now. All right, now let's try it. See, they're moving now. They said they had it sitting for about seven months, so. That's good. So, sucks that I didn't get any more time to work on this thing today. I had planned on pulling it out and uh, some bright too. I like that one. So yep, yeah, that's it. So you just turn the key to off and then hit the kill switch. And all that does is uh, trip a re well, not really a relay, just 
it energizes a valve right here and that shuts off the fuel supply so boom it just it pushes it right in and when I was there that switch didn't work I ended up getting that push button switch working here at home but when I was there oh it even says push to stop Oh, okay, gotcha. So you're actually supposed to do that if you, it's like a safety type thing. That's cool. But here, take a look underneath. It is nasty. <coughs> look at that. So, right here was leaking bad. There's a, I don't know, some valve. Well, it looks like it's still leaking. So who knows, maybe it's maybe it just doesn't, I don't know. I really don't even know where to start. There's so much to it. But they drove the snot out of this thing. And evidently they didn't take too good care of it. And the funny thing was is that when, jeez, when, uh, when I picked it up, I was talking to them. Oh yeah, the trans is bad is what they said. And they later on they admitted that there was a couple other of their machines that had bad, tra bad transmissions so something's up i mean they obviously didn't take too good a care of things and they just pretty much buy it change oil every now and then and drive it into the ground and that's not surprising because a lot of people do that <coughs> but i'm pretty excited to get this thing cleaned up under here and start figuring out where these leaks are coming from i mean i can only assume that this is a transmission or a oil pan leak gosh there's just oil everywhere and i can't remember i looked at everything and when i was there this hose right here popped off and just started oozing out this like crude oil and the guy, the kid, he had to be in like his late 20s, maybe. 20s, no more than 30s. I mean, he looked like, no more than 30. He, he looked like he was in his 20s. He goes, well, yeah, it's 30 weight oil. And it was straight up black. So I don't know what <laughs> he was trying to do there. But it's, I mean, that hose straight up broke off right there. You can see there's a um, hose clamp on there that I put. But it, it was just rotted on the end of it, broke off. And I got it home and fixed that so it's not leaking from there anymore that I can see. I don't know. <clears throat> but there's definitely leaks in this sucker. That being... I mean, I'm most, mostly concerned about the, the engine. I mean, I'd like to... If the transmission is an easy fix, you know, if the accelerator valves or something need to be cleaned and the whole system just needs to be flushed and whatever else, then um, that'd be great because I'm sure I could use it for something. Check the yield. Ugh. Wow. Let's give that a one. Where's the full mark? Doesn't show up. Full mark. Anything. Oh wow. Yeah, it definitely needs the oil changed. So I'm I'm getting a few things done before I start focusing on this. <clears throat> but this is gonna be a fun project. Because I'm I'm gonna use the engine. I'm gonna use that gearbox right there and probably end up using the hydraulics and the power steering for sure. That's the other thing. And see that's the thing too is that when it's when it's running, it's got power steering, but it's it's slow. It's like real like tight. So it's gotta be something to do with flow, I'm thinking. Whether it's got so many leaks that it's just there's not enough pressure. But I don't know. I think it's just dirty as hell. And then the deck raise is fine, you know? So we'll see.
But I'm, I'm going to use this thing to build a tractor. And so I'll use whatever I can off of it. It would have been nice if I could have found a 4x4. So if anybody knows any uh, anybody that's got a like a 455D or even a 3, 325 or 328D that's 4x4, I'm not sure if they make them like that, but either way. I think it's got a valve cover leak too. Right at the back here. You don't really see it too much in the front, but definitely in the back. She's a dirty girl. Cleaned up the starter thing. The positive there. Because that was just nasty looking. All rusted and everything. And it was having a hard time starting, so I did that and then put a new battery in it because it was just raw, raw, raw. Didn't even after a charge too. So I slapped a, I slapped my own AN generator battery on there, super start to 840 cold cranking. <laughs> so and that, that turns it over beautifully. A little too big for the box over there, but I don't care. I'm not going to use it to mow at this point. All right, so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, figured I'd, you know, get that um, posted. And I got some guys on the forum there that are that I told the last couple days I was going to get video on this thing, and I'm finally getting it. So just barely got it with the nighttime coming. So, all right, thanks a lot. Take care. Please like, subscribe, and share if you'd like.